right, so this is the setup that we have. Um, when Shane when Shane carves, he creates a lot of waste, sawdust, and just little pieces that he cuts off of the big tiki's when he makes them, well, big and small. And we collect it in this trailer. This is a what is it? A five by eight trailer? I think we we got at Lowe's. Um, let me tell you, it's a little trailer, but it's the little trailer that can. So the setup we have. Um, it looks a little rigged up. I don't know if you can see it. It's the trailer, but inside the trailer is um, a bed liner, a truck bed liner. Um, yep, we pulled it out of our truck and put it in the trailer. Um, it's well used. We are all about recycling. And then to finish closing up, the, the bed liner didn't reach all the way to the end of the trailer, but with the, the part that goes on the tailgate of the truck, um, piece that in and it kind of finished the bottom of the trailer. We just stuck some Sheet metal, up and metal roofing pieces that we, um, scraps that we had. So, the magic, well part one of the magic is this um, cargo unloader that we got from Harbor Freight. Uh, I can't remember how much it cost, but it's not a lot. And I'll say like 40, 50 bucks. Yeah, it, it wasn't very much. Maybe 40, 50 bucks, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but it, it doesn't look like much. You wouldn't think it would actually work well, but let me tell you, it did. It just shaved us a <clears throat> usual, and I think it was more than 30 minutes we had spent out there. Yeah, well, probably, it usually takes us. Like an hour all the way from from start to finish with so we get all the sawdust and logs up and we have to scoop it out out of the back of the trailer and shovel it out which took forever at the dump you know because uh you have to get it out of your trailer yeah because it's sawdust mixed with chunks so if it was just sawdust you could shovel it easy and if it was just chunks you could pick them up easy but because it's a mixture it's like digging through roots. Yeah, it's like and digging through roots. Way to getting a dump trailer, but if y'all know anything about dump trailers, you can't really touch one for under two grand, and that's a lot of money. So, with this setup we got right now, between the trailer we bought at Lowe's, I think was around six hundred bucks, yeah. somewhere around there. This cargo truck liner unloader thing was like forty maybe 50 bucks and we got a winch system so we made our own dump trailer with this and it kind of works with yeah so instead of installing this cargo liner on you're supposed to install it on the tailgate of your truck to help you unload your truck bed um, but for us we put it in our trailer um, he's That's why we got a bed, uh, tail, uh, yeah. truck cover liner in our trailer. The bed liner helps it um, slide. It makes it a good slick surface um, so that <clears throat> this cargo unloader, um, it comes with a crank. It's a hand crank. It's all manual. Um, but we, or not we, Shane uh, MacGyvered the system. I'm always and bringing stuff up made it so he doesn't have to hand crank it. Because it, when it's on the trailer like this and you have the tailgate down, trying to hand crank it would take forever because you only got a little bit of room. Yeah, you wouldn't have enough crank. clearance to crank the handle all the way. So I was like, well, we got this winch from Harbor Freight, which was like $49 and some, some cents and stuff. I was like, what if we rig up a system where we have this truck unloader thing inside the trailer because the way this works is it spins and it creates pressure or it tightens up and it kind of pulls everything that's laying on the bottom out it does it it slides it kind of like the belt at the grocery store how it brings and brings the groceries to the cashier this kind of just rolls everything out to off the end when we throw everything in here we hook this bad boy up to a winch and it's all wrapped up so it's kind of coiled. I extend the winch from the truck, hook it up, and as the winch pulls, it retracts all this and, and dumps it right where we want it to go. We, we just, it's our simple trailer. This might cost all together with 600 plus another 100, 700 bucks. 
so you'll see in the next video how we use it and uh, you'll see kind of the whole system but the winch runs off the back of the truck right there I got a rigged up mount on that yeah so when when he uses it he drops the ramp down um, drop the ramp all the way down which is just like a normal trailer. Yeah, just a, a normal trailer ramp. And he does put a, um, he puts a brace here so that it, don't lift it doesn't gate. lift the gate up. It keeps, it prevents the gate from coming up um, and keeps it going down. And then it just slides everything on out off the end of the trailer. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. I kind of tested a little bit at home, but you know, there's only so much. So the ultimate test is going to the dump and having a full trailer load and see what happens. So I was hoping, my nerves were shot, but I was really hoping that it would work out and everything good. And as you'll see in the next video, it freaking it did it flawlessly. It did. It was a success. And um, we didn't break our backs and we weren't there for forever five minutes yeah it was and didn't even break a sweat so we're taking a job that usually takes 45 minutes just to unload it and shaved it all the way down to four minutes or five minutes sorry and that makes a huge difference especially when you're in something like this that we're in where you have little tedious stuff all the time in a trailer and you don't really can't really afford and we don't have a room for another trailer because we have three already but, tell you what, this little Lowe's trailer, freaking worth every penny. We've had this thing way maxed out. And, uh, you know, it just keeps surprising us. And then Harbor Freight stuff is it's pretty good. It's cheap. Uh, but, you know what, I can't mock it or anything because so far everything we got from there has worked like it should. So, this way... Like she said, it's a giant belt. It pulls everything. Once that winch is on there and it starts spinning, it just slides everything out. But that's why we needed the uh, truck bed in the back. So it's a it's a long process, but it was it was a freaking success. It was a success. Bam! <laughs> Seven hundred dollar dump trailer. <laughs> and I know it's stupid kind of to be proud of it, but gosh dang, if you have to freaking dig out the stuff we had it's already painting the butt putting stuff in there and then you go to a dump yard and you have to put it back out it's a freaking nightmare especially everybody's there watching you like good gosh how long they're gonna freaking take <laughs> we're holding up a spot and everything it's very stressful so and and i will say we, we usually have this trailer full it takes two to three weeks um, we, we have to go dump every two to three weeks, so it's it's pretty frequent. And it's full. It's like a frequent. Yeah, it's it's, it's mounded up full. Of... That's why we have the sides on it, because it, it's full. Yeah, the, the little size that came stock ain't going to cut it. <clears throat> we put like a freaking, at least a ton, ton and a half in here. I can almost guarantee it, but between the logs and sawdust and it rains and stuff down here, it gets pretty bad. But we need that in order to make stuff like this. So, you know, that's uh, it's a big success, and I'm, I'm happy about it. Yes. And I never even knew these things existed, so even if you're hauling freaking concrete or anything, I definitely recommend you checking out one of these. Uh, Harbor they, Freight Cargo Unloader. Cargo Unloader, yeah. yeah. They go on your truck. Our truck got a cap on it, so, you know, it'll be a pain in the butt loading that up and everything, but... If you got a trailer and stuff, you can use it. It's been tested and approved, and you will see in the next video. Alright, so we're here to dump our trailer full of sawdust with junks, all our normal, usual stuff we have to get rid of. And we're going to test out the new system we set up. Hopefully it goes smoothly and makes unloading this trailer full of stuff lots and lots easier.
my broom. <laughs> Say it was a success. Hell yeah. That normally takes us about 30 minutes to unload. Shoveling and sweeping. Took just a couple minutes. Easy breezy.